Hey, what up, y'all? Mr. Cruz here, the hardest worker in the room, back with another Band Lab tutorial. And in today's video, we're going to go over all automation stuff, anything involving automation. I'm going to show you guys what's up. So, automation, um, you might have seen the setting inside of Band Lab itself and not known what it does. Automation is like a fancy word for saying that, like, you're going to make a certain setting or a certain parameter automatic. Um, and it's something that's usually not automatic. And that's kind of like why it has its own kind of setting. Um, so where we're going to start is, uh, I'm going to take these drums. I'm going to solo these drums right here. And as you can see, I have this uh, multi filter on here. So what I want it to do is when it gets to the third bar, I want it to gradually, I want, as it's going to the third bar, I want to gradually have that filter, um, start taking effect. So I want it to sound like this. Um, when it gets to the third bar. All right, and the way we're gonna do that is through automation. So the first thing that you wanna do is you want to have your um, your effect. Now, this doesn't just apply to effects. Some of the instruments have some automation stuff that you can kind of import. Um, I mainly use it with effects though. So on this multi-effect, I got the low pass filter and then I have the frequency. So I can kind of, uh, I'm gonna bump this up all the way to so that it's not kind of take an effect and it's normal. All right, uh, I'm gonna click this little button right here that says show or hide automation. So when I do that in each track, it'll have this drop down menu that will let me know what things I can automate involving that track. So because I've thrown an effect in here, now it'll show me that I have these three. Uh, actually, let me go, let me show you here. If I delete this, then I can only automate volume and pan. But obviously I'm gonna undo. Now that I've added an effect, I can automate certain parameters inside of that effect. So what I want to do is I want to automate the frequency one. All right. So let's say right now, since the since it's a low pass filter, the frequency is panned or is pretty much cranked all the way up. Um, so that means it's not taking an effect. It's not doing anything. So what I'm going to do is probably around bar two, right? I'm going to just go ahead and click here. Um, and then I'm going to click down here. So around there, um, I'm gonna reset this. I'm gonna do it again. So bar two and bar three. Oh, I guess it didn't, okay. So now we'll hear that taking effect. Move that up. Okay. So damn, that's really cool, ain't it? All right, so check this out. I got one more thing to show you. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can record your automations using a MIDI controller. So I'm gonna show you here. Right, let's see if we can get this. Uh, so I've got my controller right here. And then over here, I have this fader. So I'm gonna use this fader and I'm gonna move it up and down. And when I move that fader up and down, it's going to control the frequency um, the frequency where the low pass filter is cutting off at. So to do that, I'm going to click MIDI mappings and then I'm going to click this right here. Uh, actually, let me delete this because I did this earlier. All right. I'm going to click uh, the parameter that I want to assign to my, my fader and then I'm going to move my fader. All right. See, so now it pops up. Now I'm going to close it. Now, if I move my fader right now, nothing is happening. What I have to do is I have to make sure that up here, this little red button is enabled. That's uh, for automation recording. And then when I click record, I'll start to be able to, whenever I move my fader, it will move the, the low pass filter frequency cutoff, and then it'll record those moves from my fader into band lab. All right, so let's check this out. Um, so I think I'm going to, all right, I gotta start all the way up, and then here we go. Boom, there we go. And you kind of see, like you can kind of hear it clipping out towards the end. That's just because this takes, automation takes a lot of processing, especially when you're using it with effects. So your processor might take a hit when doing that. But there, boom, there you go. Now I've got a little automation, like a cool little filter that's kind of bringing the drums in and out. 
the important thing is this is just a sample of what you can do with automation. You can do tons of really dope, really cool things with automation, especially when it comes to mixing. But anyways, that's what I got for you guys. Hopefully that's helpful. Let me know in the comments below any of the band lab tutorials you guys want to see in the future. It's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.